What's up, YouTube? James here. Welcome back to another video where today I am going to be doing something I did a couple weeks ago, a tier list. Now, the last tier list I did was a tier list of all the Pixar movies, and now I'm going to do the company that bought Pixar, the one, the only, Disney Animated Studios. Um, I'm very excited about this. If you don't know anything about me, you know that I'll love, I love Disney, and Disney makes some of the best movies ever made, so I'm gonna rank all their animated features, excluding the sequels, because they were technically not made by Disney. Today, we are gonna rank all the Pixar movies with all the tiers we have here, including Magical, which is like the best Disney movies ever made. Great, which is great, awesome movies, but just not on the same magical level. Good, it's just like, it's a good, solid movie. Might have a couple problems, but not any bad problems. Meh is just, okay, it's a movie. It's not bad, but I don't think I'm gonna watch it anytime soon. Bad is I'm never gonna watch that movie again. It Disney uh, didn't do good on this movie, uh, but I gotta say that's a really weird, rare tier. Have not seen yet. So the couple Disney movies I have not seen. So we are actually gonna start with the have not seen, just to get them out of the way. We're gonna do, uh, we're just gonna quickly put all the Disney movies I have not seen out of the way. So let's do those two. Uh, Home on the Range, I actually haven't seen. Chicken Little, some of these movies I have seen a long time ago. Um, let's see. Uh, so, yeah, lots of these movies I haven't seen in a really long time. Uh, and I have seen, but I don't remember anything about them. So it would be very unfair to rank them, I think. So that's why I'm putting them in that have not seen. Now, I'm going to do a couple more here. Um, I'm trying to do this the best that I can. But I think that's all I'm going to do for now. For those more in this video, I'll just put them there throughout the uh, video. But anyways, let me take a quick, quick sip here. And the first movie is The Little Mermaid. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a lot of slack for this. Okay, ready? I'm putting Little Mermaid in the gray category. Yeah, no, it's, mm, yeah, it's, it's a good movie. I, I don't feel like it's a great movie, but, um, I just feel like it's one of those fun movies. Like, obviously the songs are great. Uh, Alan Menken and Harold Ashman did a great job with the songs. And the characters are great. The storyline is awesome. Um, now, I'm gonna go Hercules, which I feel like is a good movie. I don't think it's the best in the movie. I feel like it's on the same, same tier as The Little Mermaid, but I don't like Phil, that's the thing. I don't like Phil, I think he's a weak kind of protagonist, like, sidekick character. Um, I think it is better than, nah, no, uh, yeah, I think, I think it's slightly better than Toy Story. I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for that, but um, I just think Toy Story has better characters and a best, better story overall. I don't think it's the best, uh, pick, uh, Pixar movie. Uh, 
and Toy Story movie, but I think it's still good. Um, I put Ants back in the Notre Dame in the May category because I just feel like the tone of it is good and stuff, but it's just not my cup of tea. And the gargoyles are terrible in this movie, don't match up with the tone at all. So I put that in the May category. Tarzan is a great movie. So, I'm going to put that in the great category. The reason I'm doing this all kind of fast is I want to get through this video as quick as I can. But yes, Tarzan. Uh, lots of people hate Phil Collins, like, voiceover uh, songs in this movie. I think they complement the story very well and keep that style that I love on that movie and the stunts that he does on this movie are... Um, like in the trees and stuff, all incredible. Brother Bear, I'm gonna put in the mad category, um, just above, um, the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Um, Brother Bear, I don't think it's a bad movie. I would actually probably put it in the good category, but since it's not as memorable to me, I'm going to put it in the May category. It's just one of those kid, like, oriented Disney films, I feel, more than the other ones, especially more than uh, Aladdin. Now, Aladdin, I'm going to put in the good category. Um, I do feel like, overall, it's better than The Little Mermaid. Uh, because it has really good action, really good, like, ideas, and it's just really, f like, one of the fun adventure Disney movies. The only thing I would say about this movie is I feel like, although Robin Williams is obviously great, um, I feel like his humor kind of is dated a little bit, uh, from the rest of, like, that time period that they don't, I don't get now, nowadays. Um, Beauty and the Beast, going in the magical category. I love Beauty and the Beast. I think Belle is a very fleshed out character. You get to learn how she likes to read. She likes to, uh, adventure. Uh, the love story is amazing. Gaston is, uh, really, is really determined with his evil scheme and will do anything to do what he wants to do. I won't spoil it if you haven't seen Beauty and the Beast, but if you haven't, come on, gotta go see Beauty and the Beast. Pocahontas? Um... Yeah, meh. I'm gonna put it in the meh category. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. Let's see. It's not bad. I think I'm gonna put it high meh tier because um, this movie did not connect to me at all. Although the songs are the best part of the movie, um, I just feel like it's a bit slow at t slow, and the voice performances are all good. I just feel like they tried to make Disney with historical, like, movies, the actual historical events, and, um, it just didn't mess well with me. Fox and the Hound, I put in the have not seen category because I have not seen it in a long time, so I'm not going to judge it. Moving on. So, Zootopia is one of the newest Disney animated movies. Uh, not the newest, but it's a good movie, definitely, because um, it's just like a fun... Um, like, the jokes, I feel, like, 
some of the jokes land, not all of them, in this movie, and, uh, the, the two main characters, Judy Hopps and Nick Wilde, are so likable in this movie, which I think are the best two strongest parts of the movie. Robin Hood, going in the mayor category, um, let's see where though, um, yeah, right there is fine. Um, I actually watched this movie for the first time a couple m months ago, and um, it just didn't connect with me all that well. Maybe it's because it's one of the older ones, I don't know. But there are definitely more older ones that I like more. I just feel like this one didn't connect. Like, it felt like they make, tried to make real-life elements with... Uh, Disney, as I said, with Pocahontas, and I didn't like it all that much. Tangled, I feel the same. Um, Tangled, I don't know what went wrong with this movie for me. It has all the right elements. A fantasy, fun, filled adventure movie. Um, and although the characters are good, and the songs are super good, I just feel like this movie is super slow and at times not that good. So I have to put it in the main category, but still higher in the main category. Um, 101 Dalmatians. See, this is an old old Disney movie that I like. I think this movie is good. Um, uh, I feel like some of the, uh, Cruella the Vil is a good villain. I like um, that she wants to get these puppies and some of the hijinks that the puppies have to go through to hide from Cruella are so good. So that's gonna go there. Uh, the rescue is down under. Uh, although. Yeah, I'm gonna put it there because I like the record rescues down under. Uh, it's it's just kind of a generic family movie, uh, adventure movie, but um, the characters are really good. I think the characters move the plot along a lot. Um, the Great Mouse Detective, I put in the good category. Um, because why, why not? It's got detectives, it got all that stuff. Uh, Sleeping Beauty, I also put in the good category because well, uh, mostly from Maleficent. Maleficent is one of the best Disney villains ever, like evil-wise. Um, the fairies have some good stuff to do. Uh, Aurora... Uh, and the prince have nothing to do, but since the other stuff is so good, gotta put it there. Treasure Planet, and, um, uh, Treasure Planet, and the general book, I mean the Robinsons, are all kind of men movies to me. Um, the only reason I put the Treasure Planet in the good category is I feel like the adventure aspect of it saves it a bit. Um, but the Jungle Book and Meet the Robinsons, I feel like their characters are both great, but the stories I feel lack a little bit, even though Meet the Robinsons is a uh, like time travel adventure movie. The Rescuers, the original, I have not seen. Moving on. So, uh, the Impulse and Groove, I'm gonna put it in the mat. In. Nah, you're a good movie. You're a super good movie. So, um, I think you're a fun road trip movie. 
Uh, I don't think of anything more than that. So I put you in low good tier. But if you have nothing else to watch, Disney animated wise, I would definitely turn that on. The characters are so much fun. Sword in the Stone, on the other hand, I think the idea of this movie is so cool. And yes, it has some great moments, but also some really weird moments with the magical aspect that I didn't enjoy, enjoy all that much. Snow White also has some magical elements, although I like it way more. Uh, I'm actually going to put it above uh, 101 Dalmatians because I feel like Snow White's just a really likable character and all the seven dwarfs that she encounters along the way and the ideas are cool. Record Ralph, um, lots of people are always gonna hate that I put it in low material. Gotta say, low material. But I just didn't connect with it all that much. The story is good, but I don't think, I think since I'm not a big video game person, I didn't connect with it all that much, but it's still not a bad movie. Frozen. The phenomenon that changed movies forever. I think the reason that Frozen was such a big movie, I think, is the songs. The songs are definitely the stand, stand out in this movie, even though the story can get a little bit funky and uh, stuff like that, but the characters are all so likable. Mulan, I like Mulan. I don't like Mulan. I'll need to put it in the May category, but it's still uh, pretty low May category. I think all the characters are fun, um, except the villain. I think the villain put it in the May tier for me because there's way too much of him and he is the boringest villain in the movie I seen. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Winnie the Pooh, I've seen a long time ago, don't remember a thing, so I'm gonna say I have not seen it. The Aristocats, I am gonna say the same, I haven't seen it. I saw a clip of this movie and I thought it was really boring, so there you go. Um, but I might watch it in the future. Um, Lady in the Tramp, I liked you. I saw you a couple months ago for the first time. I think you're a fun romance movie, um, with some likable characters and the side characters are super good. Um, um, I am gonna put you in the good category. Yeah, just, uh, just, uh, in front of Pocahontas. So, there you go. Um, Cinderella. Cinda. Cinderella. Yeah, I like you better than Snow White. Uh, your my friends are so much fun, and the fairy godmother oh, tobacco is so much fun. Black Cauldron I haven't seen. Pinocchio I have seen. Um, I like Pinocchio. Um, like the uh, ideas of when he lies, his nose grows, and Jiminy Cricket, obviously a great sidekick. I don't think it's as memorable as all the other ones on the good category though. So it's low good. Uh um let's see. Um Treasure Planet. I think I'm actually gonna move Treasure Planet and Toy Story to be a little bit higher because, yeah, they're better than what people 
what I think I said before. Um, Bambi. Gonna move Bambi too. Um, I think Bambi is actually the lower good movie because, um, I just feel like, uh, that's the least memorable movie, but a good movie nonetheless. Peter Pan, I feel like Captain Hunk is amazing. Everything else is fine, but I just didn't connect with it. So that's why I'm going to put it in the, uh, what's it called? Mega categories. So, there you go. Uh, Dumbo. Yeah, I'm gonna put Dumbo in the mad category. Um, pretty much all the movies I put in the mad category all means it has fun characters, but I think the story of Dumbo kind of lacks and it's kind of all over the place. So, yes. Alice in Wonderland um, is also a man movie. This movie is just weird. The characters are well developed, but since it has a weird nature uh, in the film, uh, I didn't connect to it at all. I don't think I'll ever watch it again. So I'm going to put it just above Milan in the meh category. Uh, let's see. Let's scroll down here. Um, Moana. The, uh, yeah, no. Yeah, let's do Ichabod and Mr. Toad. Uh, or whatever it's called. Uh, High Met here. Just because one of the stories is good. I think it's Ichabod's that I liked, but Toad's I didn't connect to at all. Uh, Moe and I liked. The character's fun, the story is fun. There's not much to Moana, but I think it's just a fun adventure. There's not much to talk about, but I would definitely watch Moana again. So yes, next up. Big Hero 6. Definitely in the magical category. I think the uh, emotional beats in this movie are very well handled with the like uh, accents set pieces and the uh, fun characters. Like all the uh, plot elements mess together and I think work very well. And it's one of my favorite Disney movies. Uh, not as good as Beauty and the Beast though. So, there you go. Princess and the Frog, good movie. I'm gonna put in the good category. Um, trying to decide where to put it in the good category. Because, um, um, I don't know, let take a sip. Um, I like you. I don't like you all that much, though. But you have a fun character. Uh, characters. You have good moments. I don't like you as a whole. You're good as a whole, but I don't love you as a whole. But you have really, really good moments. So, yes. Bolt. I'm actually going to do Bolt next. I think Bolt is a really good movie. I'm gonna put Bolt in the good movie, in the good category. I think I'm gonna put it just uh, in front of or behind Treasure Planet. I love the idea of um, like this, this uh, the um, dog being an actor and he thinks everything around him is real and it's so much fun. Lilo and Stitch, I put in the good category, I mean in the magical category, because I like it's, uh, I like the element of, um, adventure 
and the element of family and the space uh, portion of the movie. Uh, you would think they don't mesh together, but they mesh together. Amazing. Um, next, yes, like I said, Lion King. I put in the magical category because I love Lion King. It's one of my favorite movies of all time, period. I think it has good characters, good uh, life lessons for uh, you to learn in life. I think it is a very uplifting mo movie. It has some really sad moments. I think if you have not seen The Lion King, it's definitely one of my favorite movies. If not uh, my favorite movie, or at least animated movie of all time. But yes, guys, that is gonna uh, do it for my video today. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget the comment section down below. Um, what is your favorite Disney movie? Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm not gonna go through any of your guys' tier lists today because I don't want this video to be long and pre uh and also